sometimes you would look into a person's eyes, he would look into your eyes, and all of a sudden you'd know through the eyes. You knew each other by a red necktie. It was very daring to wear a, a, a hanky that matched the tie. And the moment that you saw that, no matter what the color was, you figured that you had, there was a brother there. After you had cruised each other by chasing each other back and forth from looking in the same window at the same thing for quite a while, you might ask the person, do you have a match or can you tell me the time? These were the little things that we would be using in the 20s, and we were still using them in the 30s, I might add. That whole society would have been known as the gay society or the gay world or the world of the demi-monde, the world of the twilight, the world of night. And so all the people who had to do with that area but all, were always considered people that were totally disrespectable and therefore of very questionable morals. Um, and this would be the, the world of dance. This is the world of the artists. These were the world of the people who flitted around in the parks and the forests at night, the, the, the Bois de Boulogne, for example, or Hyde Park in London, or along the rivers, both the Thames and the, and the Seine. Um, the people who would be out at night wandering around loose without going specifically from one place to another were obviously there for no good purpose. And so this is, this is known as the world of the demi-monde. This is the twilight world as it was known in the earliest 20th century, and it is the world of the gay people. And the gay therefore covers all of these people. It covers prostitutes, covers ladies of doubtful virtue, gentlemen of doubtful virtue, all those unsavory characters. <laughs>